Hi guys, this is a video tour of the computing facilities at the University of Brighton for the Open Day event. And I'm currently in uh, the Cockroft building on the second floor, and this is the Mouscombe campus. This is where computing courses are delivered. So in this room, uh, which is primarily a game development room, we call it that because of high-end PCs, they're specifically tailored for Unreal Engine and Unity. And in this room, we've got about 40 PCs. But as you can see, because of um, COVID secure rules, we don't utilize all of them um, at this given moment. And each of those PCs comes with uh, two displays. Um, each PC also has a ninth generation i7, um, RTX 2080, 32 gigs of RAM and an SSD. So they're very well equipped for um, game engine and any kind of game related development, whether you're going to use Unreal Engine or Unity or something else. These are also set up to dual boot to Windows and Linux in case you prefer Linux, for example, as your primary development system. We also have a um, another lab which is specifically dedicated to Macs in case you prefer Mac OS as your development system and We also have similar labs on this um, second floor and these depending on what course you're um, going to be doing and what kind of modules you'll be doing the labs are set up slightly differently so they'll have different hardware different software um, to meet your software slash game development needs. Over here we have the lecture PC. This is we uh, this is where we normally deliver um, our lectures, and we also have widescreen on the wall uh, where you can see lecture slides, and we also got a microphone which um, gets transferred to the speakers at the top, and we also have. Um, whiteboard, which we sometimes use to demonstrate various theoretical concepts. And that is pretty much it for the tour. We do have uh, other labs on the first floor. Again, they're slightly differently set up, but generally um, it's a room full of PCs that students can utilize um, for their coursework. And these labs are usually open um, in non-teaching times as well, um, in case you want to do some work on your own. And it is also possible sometimes to um, sit in the tutorials, even if the tutorial is running, but it depends on um, each module. So if you're interested in seeing more of similar tours, then feel free to let me know and I'll see what I can do um, to deliver those tours. Thanks for watching.